and the wolves from Microsoft are circling your house and your internet and your Windows installation and it's a sad time uh, since uh, they backported their tracking technology and telemetry to Windows 7 and Windows 8 and if you weren't watching uh, your Windows update carefully you probably have it um, and not even know uh, I became aware of it when my internet connection wireless internet was uh, for lack of a better word throttled when I was trying to um, when it was starting up it would take a while for it to start up so I found a uh, lots of articles and they're pointing to the uh, KB installs on which ones are the uh, invasive um, updates and as soon as I removed those and restarted my uh, in, uh, network connection was instant uh, upon uh, boot up uh, so enough of uh, that um, I'll put links in the description if you weren't aware of that and it's unfortunate uh, so that uh, led me to uh, lock down my Arch Linux install even more um, just just in case and yes we're on the internet and it, our privacy is pretty much gone I understand that however you can still lock down your OS there's no harm in doing that so I've talked about this before but uh, to make it easier for myself or anybody else that wants to try I, I made a couple of very, very simple bash scripts uh, to encrypt your partition or hard drive or actually your system uh, your root system and uh, have that ready for you without uh, having to type in too much into a terminal so with that said uh, obviously I have Arch Linux in VirtualBox ready to go so I'll just do my usual re routine and uh, tap press tab and space and VGA equals 791 approximately uh, 1024 by 768 and uh, I'll let that uh, load up so uh, here's here's the uh, install that I use uh, called pre arch and uh, just again to make it easier to install um, and there's two files here that I've added to the JIT repository LVM encrypt a for uh, device A, SDA, and SDB, uh, but they don't include anything like uh, a home or a swap. Uh, but uh, you have to have a dedicated root partition. So this is all it is. Okay, you can copy and paste into your own text and call it whatever you want, or you can download it um, um, through when installing Arch, either on VirtualBox or on your system or whatever. Um, and it, basically it just uh, saves time from typing in a lot of stuff so in my case whoops, sorry uh, in my case I just do uh, after I've synced my mirror list I just uh, grab uh, two programs reflector and oops and JIT and uh, let those download and install once those are installed, it's just a matter of calling the JIT re repository. So JIT clone HTTPs, uh, JIT hub dot com slash my username and then pre underscore arch. And it's just a bunch of uh, installation helper scripts, basically. And ls pre arch, or you can ls the underscore arch directory and there's uh, everything that I use to set up uh, Arch Linux and there's the two files I just mentioned the LVM so logical volume management uh, plus encryption on either device SDA or device SDB you can adopt those to SDE but they're only on one system uh, one partition they, it won't work with multiple partitions or anything you have to use a different method uh, than this so just a simple encryption 
on uh, your system on your wherever you're installing Arch Linux. Okay, so uh, basically you, s you have to make them executable. So chmod and very easily type plus x and uh, pre arch lvm underscore. In this case, it's going to be a, and that's it. So we'll just leave that uh, uh, ready. For uh, leave that for now because um, there are a couple of things you have to do beforehand. So it was a clean partition. Uh, F disk will work just fine. Uh, so F disk, and you can do a dash L. And if you know the device, like SDA in this case, <laughs> oops, uh, DEV SDA, you see that's nothing on there. So I'm just going to take out the L and We'll just F disk device STA, so N for new. Uh, primary partition number one, default sector leave the same. And in this case, it's going to be a plus 512. I, I like to leave enough room, and that's going to be our boot partition. And it puts you back to the, the blinking cursor. cursor. <laughs> and we're going to type in another new partition, default primary uh, partition two. And first and last sector are going to be the same. However, for partition two, we're going to type in T for the type. It's going to ask you which type. Uh, if we want to, uh, for partition two is which is default anyway. And if you want to list, you can, uh, type in L. But uh, for LVM logical volume is eight uh, E. And it says LVM Linux LVM, and then it's just W to write. And then uh, let's uh, do that list. You see uh, device SDA is 512 Linux, and device SDA2 is Linux LVM. So let's call up our uh, web page and we'll look at the uh, LVM encrypt A bash file. And it's uh, this is what it does crypt setup, Luke's format, slash DEV SDA2. And then you have to open it, and then it uh, creates a physical volume, a volume group, and logical volume uh, on the root. And then you make it will make a file system to uh, XT, XT, extension four, sorry, uh, with these parameters: root dash root. As you see here, root and root are the same. You can call those anything you want. I just it's all root, so <laughs> I just left them like that. And it mounts a device mapper root root to slash mnt and then create an extension to for the boot because you're really not going to be journalizing anything on the boot and then it makes the directory and then it mounts that device okay so that's what this script does so it makes it a lot easier and again there's no home there's no swap so we'll just type in uh, pre underscore arch lvm enc they're all underscore LVM underscore ENC underscore A. And do you want to overwrite any data? Well, of course, there isn't anything on there, really. So capital letters, you have to type in capital letters or it won't work. So it's yes. And enter a passphrase. It's going to ask you for that phrase twice. And then it's going to ask you to open the device with the password you just or passphrase you just put in and now it's uh, formatting and mounting uh, the devices so if we do an ls slash mnt you see there's boot and lost and found okay from there you just basically install arch the way you normally would so the, what I like to do is just very simple uh, pack strap uh, on the mounted partition base and base dash D E V E L press enter let it sync download and install Arch Linux for you so I'll be back when that's uh, ready to go okay so uh, Arch Linux is installed and uh, we'll just gener generate our file system table and I'll do this for the uh, paranoid and all of us <laughs> uh, I'm gonna type in GEN FS tab here I'll zoom in and we're gonna make it uh, the UID UUID method and uh, so that's just capital U uh, from the MNT and then two arrows so it does 
it doesn't overwrite okay one arrow will overwrite to our mounted partition etc fs tab i'm just pressing tab on those by the way if you're wondering and uh just to double check cat and you see that uh, device mapper root root as i explained in the beginning is uh on the root partition and our boot is on our boot partition funny how that works huh all right so we just uh ch root and arch slash mnt and just do our usual stuff um, if you want to uh set up your well, obviously the first thing always set your root password and then you can uh, edit uh, the uh locale and uh, set up your time zone or echo uh, a host name vbox etsy host and this will create a new file name and so on and i should mention too if, if you forget to uh, do your system locale or your time you can always do that after arch is installed even after after a desktop uh, you can always manipulate those uh, and restart and uh, it'll work just fine so um, we have to edit a couple of files uh, the first one is our mk init configuration file so we'll nano our basic command line text editor etsy mk init dot c o n f you get here just just keep pressing the page down and arrow key up a bit to where it says hooks and just arrow key over and space bar and back a bit and file system just before that type uh, encrypt and LVM2 and that's it for that so control O to write that out and control X to exit now we'll uh, download our uh, grub configuration and uh, this I should mention is uh, legacy grub bios there's no UEFI of any kind uh, involved in this. So uh, Pacman dash capital S grub. Uh, if you're using another OS you want to get you probably want to get OS dash prober as well. Alright so it might take a little longer to initialize the grub configuration uh, because of the encryption and uh, once that's finished uh, we'll just run our uh, MK init uh, configuration file. So MK init uh, cpio dash p and the word linux and let that uh, do its thing and you'll see the encrypt and lvm hooks are um, in the, the file now we can install grub so grub dash install actually no let's manipulate the grub file first uh, this is probably the not the hardest but the most difficult to remember so uh, i'm going to clear the screen and uh, some of this will go off to the side so you can't see it all at once but I'll try to make it maybe I'll annotate so you can see um, the full line of what I typed so in any case nano again Etsy default slash grub and where it has grub CMD line underscore Linux default and then uh, two words I mean two words two quotes and then uh, a quotations and quiet you type in uh, crypt device equals and then to your physical uh, device sda2 colon one colon there root okay um, if you're using a solid state drive you would add this in colon allow dash discards discards and actually you can do that after um, you reboot and boot into arch but whatever way you want to do it but in this case we don't need that um, since we're in a virtual machine or if you have a mechanical hard drive you don't do, need to do that either okay so after that's another space uh, root equals slash dev slash mapper slash root and you guessed it dash root and that's it and I'm just going to do one more thing here okay so once you're done with that just uh, write that out and exit 
Now don't forget to install Grub. <laughs> so Grub dash install device SDA and it's installed there. Now I made an, an alias for uh, grub dash mk config go slash boot. I just called it up dash grub. And uh, you'll see lots of uh, warnings, errors. Uh, that's because it's trying to uh, read from the uh, USB and uh, temporary folders. But don't worry, it, uh, it will work. All right, so it's done. So we just exit Arch Linux uh, ch root and uh, u mount unmount basically mnt and a dash capital r and type in reboot so if you haven't removed or whatever if you're in a virtual box or virtual environment such as virtual box uh, just go to boot existing os and give it a bit of time and here we go our uh it's asking for our passphrase that we typed in at the beginning when we encrypted so you just type that in and it should unlock your root partition. Alright, so I've uh, booted into the Arch Linux install again and uh, just to demonstrate uh, if you want to manipulate your uh, root partition or remove the encryption or reformat reform or whatever, you have to pretty much unlock it. So I'll zoom in here for you. Encrypt. And you can press uh, tab on that. It's built into the Arch kernel now. Uh, set up um, then the word open and the type is two dashes type L U K S and then the physical device SDA 2 and it's LVM logical volume so you press enter and it's going to ask you for your passphrase to open it like you would when you uh, boot and then we want to mount the uh, DEV MAPP device uh, ma mapper then root uh, dash root to mount to our MNT and ls slash MNT and you see we have our uh, arch install and then you can arch ch root to MNT and now it's open or if you exit oh, I'm sorry exit and you mount Uh, MNT and a capital R and if you want to F disk that uh, DEV SDA what you have to do is delete the partition by pressing D and you have to do that twice then press W to write and then format I'm gonna quit and obviously I don't want to do that but that's basically what you do to unlock it if you have to for whatever reason okay um, now what I found uh, performance wise on the solid I haven't noticed any difference um, on a solid state drive uh, the only difference I did notice and I'm not sure if I did something wrong is using uh, clonezilla instead of uh, a minute and a half it took uh, 20 minutes to do a backup and uh, Clonezilla also lets you encrypt it as well. Um, but beware of that if backing up uh, an Arch Linux root encrypted partition with Clonezilla might take longer than you anticipate, as far as I know for now. So just be aware of that. Maybe, like I said, maybe I missed something. All right, so uh, that should do it for uh, encrypting your arch linux installation and there's there's many other uh, graphical tools for um, personal encryption and stuff that you can get which i might talk about a, a bit later all right so that should do it for this one and thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now